you liked the video, it will be my honor if you can like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And there are a lot more figure diorama photography at the end of this video, so please watch and enjoy until the end. Now, let's begin. Hello everyone, how is everybody doing today? And today I am going to be reviewing the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger from Hasbro Lightning Collection. And this is going to be a big review, a very big one. But uh, because a lot of these figures came out quite long ago, so I'm sure you have seen bits and pieces from other videos. And therefore, I would just try my best to skim as fast as I can. So this is the entire Fire Ranger plus one, technically two, but it's the same character with different version of the costume. And we finally got the Black Ranger and therefore we are able to do the combined weapon attack as you can see here. And it is quite crazy that uh, we were able to actually combine because um we did receive uh we did receive the black ranger on, on early on on exclusive but he had the protective gear like the green ranger on so for anyone who wanted the black ranger without that in advance we needed to cut the armor off and uh we we're been waiting to get the regular release <laughs> until just now that said, this video is probably going to be released quite after I've done this uh, video taking. So yeah, hopefully it wouldn't be too outdated. But again, most of the characters already came out a long time ago. So yeah, hope um, I can shine something to everyone. And if you missed out in any of the figures, I, can, I think you can still get s most of the figures and for the White Ranger, he, he came out first in this line, but you can still catch and get him, you know, there and here. And Green Ranger, I did see him out in several locations. He, he came out in a two-pack first. So, and then maybe I'm wrong, but I think he also came out in the single pack later. So, you, uh, they are quite easily to get. One thing, I, I got uh, two Red Ranger because when I purchased one from Big Back Toy Store, there was a major, uh, well, crack mark, or I think it's because they didn't, uh, Hasbro didn't do a good job on getting the, the mode out, so they had a very big mark right here, and I really hated it, so I went to a local toy store, and I just found them, so I got it from there, um, but everyone else, uh, was quite easy to find, just that most of the figure right now is sold out so I hope that you guys have collected them but that all said <laughs> it's Hasbro I know what they're gonna do they're gonna release all five in a you know big collection five pack and they're probably gonna sell it on Amazon you know exclusive because they've done that for Alpha Flight and you know all the a big actually they might just do it on Hasbro Pulse but regardless, if you miss it, don't be too worried because I'm quite sure they're going to do a fight pack. It's kind of obvious. It's like they want money. So Hasbro wants money. Nothing more. Just that hopefully they don't do a another Target exclusive or Walmart exclusive BS because some people can get it. I got them like here. So I, it's not going to bother me. But I just really hate when the collectors can't get what they want just because Hasbro suck at distribution. So yeah, hope you guys get it. Anyhow, I am just gonna take everybody out. And before I go in detail with the figure, I don't want to disable and dismantle the, the weaponary um, before that. So I'm just gonna show the combined weapon first. And this is how it is. The, this in effect comes with the Black Ranger, but uh, the entire thing, as you can see, it's all from each Ranger's. And you simply, or before I dismantle it, I'm just going to show the entire appearance from left and right. And I really think they have done a great job in actually sculpting the whole thing, and it's quite accurate to the film. 
just I just don't understand how the weapon works because when they shoot the energy blast, it's always coming from here. So I don't know, like what's the sword for and what's the the bow for? <laughs> Japanese <laughs> action uh, Sentai series. So anyhow, um, that's so. And how this whole thing work is that the main base is obviously the axe from the Black Ranger, and it's the biggest uh, weapon that the Mar Mighty Morphin has. It's a ridiculous design, and I think that in the in the show, I might be wrong, but this part, what up here, which we can't do that for the figure. Oh wait a minute, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? No, I can't. So in the show, I think this part was on the top, so you, he had a better grip. But for this action figure, he doesn't have much grip. He has to hold on to here, and even when he's holding on to it, because it's so sick that it really just doesn't pop in too well. And even when you did pop it in, it's it's not firm. It's gonna pop out. So not a good um, design. But that's not for the Hasbro fault. It's just a design of the weapon. And for the bow. As you can see, like so, very simple, but um, they have these, uh, well, connector part right here where you can install, actually it's this way, install these uh, other rangers weapon like that. It's supposed to be like this actually, and like And there you go. So they actually um, designed this in advance before selling each figure. And what you do is you actually install this bow handle right here. And it's not a firm fit. It's it's quite wobbly. It's it's not that firm because you can just you know tilt tilt. It just comes off really easily. So it's not a great grip, but nothing much you can expect. And the sword, what you do is you just install it right here. This is a, a very strong grip. So there you go. You get the entire pack right here. And I think it, it's a neat thing. And I was worried that um, I won't be able to do this. And I was thinking that Hasbro might make us um, buy the entire five pack again to recreate this. But no, they, they were kind enough to allow us to combine every piece and since I already shown the bow and the axe I'm gonna show the dagger of the yellow ranger right here and it's, I don't know if it's capturing but the detail is really nice it's really well um, it's really well detailed and for this, you get two um, special effect accessory that I'll show you later. It's a really nice thing, and you also get a Blue Ranger weapon right here. And this is also decently detailed. And like the show, this is supposed to combine and get longer. And to do so, they actually give you a longer version. So that's something that I appreciate a lot. Not to forget, for the bowl, that I already shown. It does come with a arrow, but this arrow is really hard to um, hold. The Pink Ranger doesn't actually hold on to it, so you would need a, a glue tag or something to make her hold the weapon. And for the Red Ranger, it's simple, just a simple sword. But I really, really is um, adoring this detail. Mine just kind of have a mist paint right there. As you can see, it's, it didn't catch the mark. It's kind of bled out, but that's okay. The other side is okay. You just said there's another uh, mist paint and all the the grip. You can see that it's showing the red inside the uh, red color there. But overall, from the distance, it's okay. So yeah, I'm fine with it. And all the Ranger does come with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Blaster. But one thing I must mention is that these actually change to a mini sword right here or a dagger. And this dagger only comes with a 
for the Black Ranger. So I just don't understand why Black Ranger get all the cool accessories because he gets two of these or not two but like a a blaster and a a dagger then he get the biggest weapon and not only that he also get the biggest you know energy blast so like he gets like a big whole pack of accessories so i think they could have given this to everyone because you know why not but maybe they sculpt this later and they forgot and like, oh, you know, we forgot to give them the dagger. Oh, we have a Black Ranger, just throw him to. That might be the, the possible answer. I don't know. So, because we got rid of the, the weapon now, we're going to start talking about the heads. Because uh, the heads is something that I wouldn't be, you know, popping them on because... That's the least thing that I'm interested in. But let's go with the Blue Ranger. Sorry, I don't remember the name because I only watched the... I did watch the Power Ranger for just the first season or so. And I'm a, a Sentai guy. So I remember them as Jurenja. Japanese um, Sentai version. The, here it's Mighty Morphin. But I remember them as the, the original Japanese license. So I don't actually remember the character name in, in the West. But... The, the sculpt is crazy good. Like, oh my god, Hasbro. <laughs> they went extra miles to sculpt this thing. And the glass is phenomenal. Look at it. It's fantastic. And she's really... They captured the actor likely, uh, likeness very much. And one thing that they, they, um, the figure art from Bandai, they had Harry Potter and Harry Potter had glasses. What they did was they actually molded the, the glass onto the face and that looks, that's okay, but if, when you turn his head, you can see that the glass is actually molded in. So it's kind of weird if you look at it in an angle, but for the Hasbro uh, figure here where the, the glass is actually a separate piece, it doesn't have that weirdness and I really like what they did and hope figure arts can do something similar in the future and the pink ranger this is a, the biggest surprise because man they nailed it they absolutely nailed it Kimberly yes yes Kimberly yes that's the only person I remember other than Tommy but yes like spot on like holy smoke and I like Pink Ranger the most, not because she's a girl, but... And I don't actually like the color pink myself, but for some reason, the pink and white works so well. And Kimberly was a kick-ass character, so yeah, and that's God. Her smile, the sculpt, perfect. Red Ranger, I don't know why she comes with this, you know, boring face. Like, everybody's smiling. And the Red Ranger is the only guy who's not happy. I'm like, why? <laughs> why be upset? He's like, he, he probably had something. I don't know. He's like crazy upset. Like, what happened, man? You're supposed to be the leader. And he's like super disappointed. Like, everyone's happy. Like, like the, well, the Yellow Ranger is not that happy. But like the Black Ranger, look at it. He's super happy. Like, yes, I nailed it today. Like, we're all great team, guys. And the sculpting is amazing, phenomenal, great. Look at the hair. It's, it's good. I'm so sure. I didn't buy other Power Rangers because Mighty Morphin was the only one I actually watched in the West. I watched a ton of Sentai series in Japan. But uh, I think... The Japanese one, they do also have the the unmasked heads, but no, just no. The Hasbro nailed it. They they blown everything out of the park. The Yellow Ranger, she, she kind of doesn't. Uh, I think she is smiling. Like I do see a little. I'm not too sure. She, I think she is slightly smiling. You know, Asian, right? I'm an Asian. Sometimes we do a neutral smile that we're not actually smiling, but we actually make a smile kind of thing, you know, to just make the the atmosphere a little more brighter kind of thing. Maybe she's doing that. But again, really nice sculpt. Very good. 
amazing. Now, last but not the least, I got two Tommy heads because I got the green and the uh, and the white ranger, and they're I think they're the same thing. I think they're identical. Even the hair is identical. So yeah, but. If they're doing White Ranger and Green Ranger, I kind of wanted the White Ranger to be smiling because the Green Ranger is, you know, was more on the evil side, and then the White Ranger was officially, you know, well, Green Ranger did become good guy, then she powered up, but I kind of wanted the Green Ranger to be, you know, this is fine for the Green Ranger. I kind of wanted the the White Ranger to be smiling, but I'm just not happy with the. The Red Ranger because he's not happy too, and they, I think they considerably up the the facial expression and print because the Red Ranger was the one of the first Ranger that came out, and that's probably why they weren't that um, tuned in with the facial sculpt and the on and the uh, the print. Probably they were still experimenting on it, but. As time goes, they nailed and nailed and nailed, and the latest Black Ranger, oh god, that is awesome, phenomenal. And I'm gonna go with uh, the special effect. We get this, this I don't know, this little um, unique sundrish effect, and it is supposed to be for the Blue Ranger's uh, staff. I don't know. Um, how we're supposed to use it like that? Probably it kind of reminds me of the Star Wars uh, mag uh, magma droids um, electro staff, but uh, yeah, that's how you kind of play around with it. For the Yellow Ranger, we get two of these uh, effect, and sometimes it's really hard to find where to stab in the the blade. But there you go, and. God, it's, not, it's really sometimes so hard to find it. But here we go. You get two of that. Beautiful. And for the Pink Ranger, I never did understand how this works. I think you're not supposed to combine it because I don't see any connection. And I see this arrow actually has the same tip as this arrow. So what I believe is this is just simply going to be used as like that. And it works, so I'm completely okay with that. And we have a... We do have several effects, like the Sunder effect right here, and also the blue effect. And I think the blue effect was for the the uh, White Ranger right there, with this unique blade that... <laughs> I really love this blade. She talks, and if you did read the comic, guy, you gotta read the, the Shutter Grid. That was an awesome comic, and I really think that a lot of people remember uh, Power Ranger as you know goofy kids show, but the comic is really beyond that. It is crazy good. So I hope that they do a reboot. I think I heard that they're doing a reboot, and for that, I I really want them to be really mature uh, content. I really want them to up the scale, and. Got to show you guys, but the iconic Re Rangers flute uh, blade that is really nice. And as you can see, you do get the detail of the flute button right here. <laughs> and I remember everyone, my, including myself, were laughing because he's like using the flute, but like, how is he blowing the air? Because they're not like there's no blowhole or anything. But he's acting like he's, you know, using as a flute. <laughs> Everybody makes fun of it. It's funny. I, I didn't realize in Japan we had that show way before, you know, it came to the West and became a Power Ranger. But when I was watching in Japan, I never kind of thought about it. But when people in the West actually start talking about it, I was like, yeah, actually, that's quite true. Like, I never thought about that, but then every time, because of that, every time I see the Green Ranger using this blade to, you know, as a flute, I just keep laughing. <laughs> and uh, the the White Rangers, really nice. I like the detail. Though it's the first um, figure that it came out in the the line, the detail is very good. I really like it. I can't believe that this is like. I'm zooming in a lot, but this thing, if you compare, my hand is, is quite small, by the way, but 
it's it's like a side of the tanky and this head is like really small it's just crazy small but yet it's not even a centimeter so yeah it's like crazy small and yet they put in this much detail well they're probably using a web brush to sculpt it in 3d so they can add as much of detail they want but when they you know print it most of the detail can't be printed even though you add as much as you like in a 3d software so great details now finally let's go with the characters and i think i'll go with the the white ranger because he was the first to come out in the line and even he is the first to come out in the line his sculpt is really nice i love it mine just kind of came with a little black like gold mark right here and i want to remove it it doesn't come out and i don't want to use acetone because that's gonna remove the black line too but still that's okay i, I always just kind of make him look the other way and it works the, the sculpting gold is nice it actually looks way better in the in the in the camera for some reason <laughs> but uh yeah and this guy ca uh, became the 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 base body mode for upcoming rangers so i really do have a lot of appreciation with this figure it's not a perfect figure but it is a great figure and i'm not gonna do a well i'm not gonna yeah i'm not gonna do the um articulation uh, on him because they're mostly the same i'll show it on the red ranger because they're all the same articulation um green and white ranger have a little more restriction due to the uh this this um i don't know it's like dragon ball like uh super saiyan kind of like body armor right here but again as you can see a very great figure i like him and then we have the green ranger which the badass all the time he came with the the putty uh two pack and that's how i first got the putty but uh then putty came you know they released a hasbro pulse uh two pack putty and i bought two of them so i have a total five but he is the first figure that actually introduced the putty and we all love Green Ranger, don't we? It's the the golden armor here looks very flat though compared to the the White Ranger, and I don't know why because he, the Gold Ranger came first, and so I think they could have used the same similar gold. And the Gold Ranger's gold is way gorgeous than the Green Ranger. So if they would have used that here, it would have looked way better. But they didn't. It looks like a cheap plastic. So I'm a little um, surprised in a very bad way. <laughs> but again, it's a badass figure. The head is nice. And I think they released a different version of the Green Ranger uh, recently. It's on, on pre-order, I think. Maybe it's already out when I release this video. But I saw a different uh, Green Ranger with a different head sculpt. So maybe um, they did an update. But it kind of color looks... A little more softer or lighter so I don't know it, it looked uh, very different now we got this Red Ranger which is the leader of course and some people um, was complaining that why all the the Red Rangers are girls blah and so on but uh, that's not correct um, in the West yes all the, the Rangers are probably uh, a guy but in Japan we had voice Ranger which the it was a kick-ass show because all the five um, character was actually a voice actor, a very known voice actor from the anime. That's why Voice Ranger, and the main leader was was a female. And I was when, when I was a kid, I was drawing manga, and I had I kind of got influenced from the Sentai. And also when I did that, the Red Ranger that I made was a female too. So. In Japan, we don't have much, you know, oh, you know, female doesn't get the main spotlight. No, a lot of Japanese people does give a big spotlight for the female. So there is a, 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 some people who's, who had the wrong idea when it comes to, oh, leadership, girl doesn't get much kind of thing. Maybe in the West, I don't know, but in Japan, it doesn't happen. Um, at work, yes, uh, guy work more longer because we don't you know we tend to work longer uh 
by number wise, it's fact that all the dangerous work guy would do it. Most of the female doesn't even apply for it. It's just it's just by fact, uh, by number. So it's not that、uh, guys is becoming a leader just because he's a guy. It's just simply that guy take way more risk. So it's understandable. So let's do、um, action figures、uh, uh, articulation because Red Ranger, you know, the most basic body, and he is somewhat using the similar body sculpt with everybody else. So his head goes three sixty, looks side side, and he does look up and down, and a little tilt. And I really love that mouth. It's, it, it's nice. It's it's inspired from Ultraman, of course. But yeah, that that's a really clean mouse design for the Hasbro side, and figure art tend to do really good. But figure art figure are quite old, and I think Hasbro's current lighting collection defeated all the the figure art Sentai series when it comes to the proportion and and maybe the even 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 maybe the articulation. Now he would go up that much, which is not much, but that's okay. And his arm bicep moves 360. His elbow goes in that much, which is really nice, really, really nice. And then for these ranger, they have a a、um, butterfly joint. So my ranger tend to not do too well for some reason, ah,、uh, because he does come in a lot on the right side. And for the left side, I'm having a little difficulty. Though his back side is coming way more out, so I don't know. Maybe it's just it's maybe just my ranger. Oh, actually, I could, I might be able to fix it. There you go. So if you do it right, you can kind of get really close. So that is impressive. And you don't see me praising too much Hasbro sometimes because some most of the time I'm not happy with their distribution. Because it's just unfair for a lot of people. But that said, I really like what they do, and I do praise what they、uh, deserve to be praised. And these figures from the Lightning Collection deserve that a lot. And there's a lot of wiggle movement you can do, so he can do hula hoop if you want. And he, this is a great ab crunch. It's really decent, and <laughs> he could back crunch. So if you want to like ha, you know, like dodge, then yes, you can do that. Now he can split that much, which is not that impressive, but that's okay. He can kick that much,、uh, not much on the backside due to his his、uh, ass mold getting in the way. But that's okay. There's a cut right here on his thigh, goes 360, and his、uh, knee goes in that much. Perfect. I really like this figure, and his ankle goes up and down, like so. So the only only possible way that maybe SH Figure Arts、um, Jurenja, which is the Japanese version of this guy, could win is is if, I might be wrong, but if it does have a foot articulation, that's the only thing that they can probably compete. Anything else? Ah,、uh, no, I don't think so. It's really good. So it's a nice figure, and I love it. Now next, I think the Pink Ranger. Came next, and like I mentioned, I like Pink Ranger design. Again, not because she's a girl; it's just that it's it's the design. It's the pink and white, and pink is the most least thing I like in the color. But it just catches a lot. Like her her, her color and this white color is so. Beautiful at the same time, quite menacing. <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know what's with it, but, but her design is really nice. I don't feel much menacing touch with the the Yellow Ranger, and I think it's because of the helmet. the The sharpness of her helmet makes her kind of more menacing to me. It's like, don't. F with me, or you know that kind of attitude running from her costume. So, for me, all the other ranger can come and start yelling at me. I'll be like, yeah, sure, yeah, okay. But if a pink ranger comes and like start ordering me, I'll be like, oh yeah, it's like Batman. Oh yeah, okay, I I agree. I, I gotta do it, kind of thing. So, a great 
design and color match. I really like it. And she also became a,、uh, I think that was called Ranger Slayer in the, the Shutter Grid, like the evil version. And that design was a badass. It's such a cool comic. If you haven't read it, please go read it. It, it needs the love and it needs a film adaptation. It was awesome. Now, the next one was the Yellow Ranger. It's the. Not my least, but I, I wasn't too fond with the a kitty cat、um, design, so that's probably it. It's not because her color yellow or whatever, it's just that I'm not too, you know, I don't feel menaced by a kitty cat, even though it's, it's saber tooth. But yeah, so that's why probably. And it's unique, but、oh, it's not the biggest fan. In the movie that they, they had, they, I think the Yellow Ranger got a big flashlight on the head、um, just, that, just for that scene. And I was like, that's quite neat. But、yes, they could have done a lot of、uh, neat tricks with each character. But overall, if you want to complete them, get them all. And I'm happy to get the Yellow Ranger. I think Yellow Ranger was one of the difficult characters to get because she, was, she sold out fast, like really fast. And the second one that came out, not the second one, the, the, the next one that came out was the Blue Ranger. I love blue color.、Um, he was the more tech guy. And、uh, the great thing about the Power Rangers,、uh, the Sentai series, is that technically they're all the same costume. Like if you have them, oops, and my Yellow Ranger t e n d to fall a lot. I don't know why. It's probably the leg. Or the foot, but if you look at it, it's all the same costume from the bottom to top until the neck, even the stripe. They could have been a little more creative and give them a different, you know, stripe marks and so on. That said, it's all the same, yet it's the same as、uh, the Clone Wars,、uh, Clone Troopers. They're technically all the same design, slightly different head, and add them slightly different accessory, and they look completely different. It's a really good trick and a magic, and I really appreciate that. It, it makes it simple, but it also has this, you know, a, a army building kind of vibe. Plus, they have extra thing, and the color change, the drastic color, makes it all much better. And I love the Blue Ranger too. Really nice character. We always need a tech guy, but for some reason, all the tech guy always have glasses. I, we didn't have contact lens that time, so I understand that. But, like, even after that, even to the modern era, for some reason, all the tech guy and girl h a s glasses for some reason. Like, can we. I, I have glasses and I had、uh, eye surgery, and it's now a, a. I don't need glasses, but I still put on glasses because I love them. It's just, it's just awesome having them, so. But it's a stereotype that wouldn't change and <laughs> it probably would stick around forever. And the last one we got here was the Black Ranger. I love the Black Ranger design because black was the, my favorite color. Well, technically, in the artist's form, black is not a color. Black and white is, is not、uh, considered a color because they're technically a, a,、um, the lightest. Color of anything. If you maximize red to its absolute、uh, brightest, it becomes white. If you maximize their red color to this, the darkest, it becomes black. So, technically, black isn't、uh, considered color, but I love black the most.、Um, nowadays, I kind of start changing and I love any colors now. Like right now, back then, I didn't like pink. Now, I love pink. Uh, and I love purple. Purple is my favorite color,、uh, color, but now, right now, for me, any color, I love any color. The only thing that I hate is when the color doesn't match the design. But here you go awesome collection, fantastic collection. And therefore, if you miss one of them, don't worry, they'll probably give you a five pack, and you might have to repurchase some of them. In that case, sell it on eBay for like, you know, cheap price. Don't be greedy. It's, it's something that you, wanna, you don't want to hold on to, like, two Blue Ranger or two Red Ranger or whatever, or three Red Ranger. If you want the whole pack, sometimes you have to get the whole pack 
when Amazon sells it. Maybe they might throw extra sync, and I hope they do. It's a bummer to me because for me, I'll be like, I'm not gonna buy a five pack because I already have them. But if someone you know misses a certain character and they have to buy a five pack, you know, they'll be like, I don't want to buy a five pack. But if they added some bonus uh, accessory, they'll be like, okay, fine. At least I can get that you know special accessory that I couldn't get, and in that case, they might feel a little bit better. So for those people who couldn't get everything, I hope Hasbro do something a little more unique so they don't feel like bummed out because it's most of the time it's Hasbro distribution problem that you guys couldn't get what you want. Like I couldn't get a lot of stuff I want from Hasbro just because they suck at distribution. You don't see that in most of the. The other countries are, or like for example, I'm from Japan, so I know Japan has new product. But if you pre-order a figure, it's done. There's no cancellation. But here, Target, Walmart, Amazon, they cancel all the time. Even so, you pre-order it. Like what the hell? Is pre-order order mean it's being ordered, right? So I'm just waiting for a product, but they're like, nope, cancel. So like that's Hasbro and the store's fault. But anyhow. I hope you enjoyed your toys, and I hope that you all became a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger at least when you're playing these toys. And I'll take some photo and talk to you all soon. Thank you very much for watching my figure unboxing photography review. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Currently, there are only six percent of my audience who are subscribed, and I feel a little bit lonely here. So, your subscription will give me inspiration to go on further. Thank you again, and see you all soon. Ah, so be there, Terunda yo.